the number seven seed Philadelphia Eagles will be flying south to take on the number two seed Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the NFC wildcard round this Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This will be a rematch from week six, but both teams look a lot different. Two touchdowns were scored by players who are no longer on Philly or Tampa's roster, with Zach Ertz and Antonio Brown both being on different teams or out of the league. Jalen Hurts is 23 years old and the youngest playoff starting quarterback in Eagles history. He was only two years old when Brady was a rookie in 2000. Jalen sat out week 18 and now has some extra rest for his ankle, so I expect him to be very aggressive on the ground versus the Bucks, especially if it's a wet game in Tampa with 70% chance of rain on Sunday. In week 6, Jalen ran for 44 yards on 10 attempts along with two rushing touchdowns, but he was mediocre at best in the passing game, throwing for only 115 yards on 26 attempts with a touchdown and an interception. Brady, however, carved up the Eagles defense going 34 for 42 with 297 yards in the air. He threw for two touchdowns with one going to his most targeted receiver of the game, Antonio Brown, who had nine receptions for 93 yards. AB is no longer on the team. Chris Godwin caught five passes, but he's on IR with a torn ACL, so the Bucks will have to rely on Mike Evans, who finished with two catches versus the Eagles. Gronk didn't play in the first matchup, but will be a threat this Sunday, and I expect the tight ends to be targeted heavy in this game by Brady. The Birds will be at full strength at the wideout position, led by Devontae Smith, who broke the Eagles' rookie reception record this year. Quez Watkins has been a solid number two, but he'll need to step up this week and put his speed on display versus an older Bucks secondary. Dallas Goddard has emerged as one of the top tight ends this year and finished second on the team with over 800 yards. Leonard Fournette is expected to play this Sunday after missing the last three games with a hamstring injury. He had 127 total yards and was very effective against the Birds Week 6. Ronald Jones is questionable with an ankle injury. Miles Sanders is also expected to be back this week after missing the past two games with a broken hand. In Week 6, Miles averaged 6.2 yards per carry on only 9 attempts. The Eagles were a different team back then and have since emerged as a top running team in the NFL averaging 160 yards per game. They will have a full stable of backs with Jordan Howard, Boston Scott, Kenny Gainwell all available. The speedster Jason Huntley has also been elevated to the active roster and will be used in the return game after flashing in week 18. Philadelphia's defense deserves plenty of credit for this team reaching the playoffs. In Philly's final 10 games, it held opponents under 220 passing yards per game and snuffed the rushing attack. The numbers are even more impressive if you take away the meaningless Week 18 game out of the equation. Darius Slay will most likely be shadowing Mike Evans, so that will be the matchup to watch this Sunday. Tampa Bay should be getting JPP and Shaq Barrett back, but will likely be without their best defensive player and captain, Levante David, who will be a close call game time decision. If Philly wants to advance to play at Green Bay next week, they will have to disrupt Brady as much as possible, and I believe they have the players to do that, but it will be no easy task going up against the GOAT and the reigning champs. The chess match between rookie head coach and Super Bowl winning head coach will be intriguing. We'll see if Sirianni has learned from their previous matchup. The Birds crawled back from a 2-5 start and now they enter the playoffs with a healthy roster against a battered Bucks team. I give Jalen Hurts and the Eagles the edge as underdogs in this game versus Tom Brady's Bucks who are an 8.5 point favorite at home. But I want to know who do you got, the Eagles or the Bucks? Let me know in the comments and smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe now and help me reach my first goal of 1,000 subscribers with only 100 away, Bird Gang. Thanks for watching. I'm Bry Wolf. Go Birds and keep it real always.